Check out this beast of a camera. What's going on everyone? Joel Wallace here. So I'm going to show you some footage uh, that I was able to collect from this Blackmagic Ursa 12K with the Fujinon Permista lens. And before we dive into that, I wanted to show you really the benefits of 12K. Now you might be saying 12K is pretty overkill, no TVs can play 12K, etc. That's kind of besides the point. What you can do with the 12K footage, now that is what's pretty cool. All right, this is where 12K footage really shines. And this is the most important and most beneficial part of shooting in 12K. And if you're gonna be delivering in 4K or HD, this is awesome. So I have this shot. This is of a saw cutting a piece of wood. And I really wish I had, you know, it framed a little differently. I, I wanna see more of the action. And unfortunately, so say that your camera op, you know, shot a little wide or, you know, it just wasn't framed up to your liking. Well, we have a lot of room to play with. And so to be able to zoom in, you pretty much for 12K, you have three 4K images to work with. So you can zoom in roughly about three times. So now I'm able to reframe my shot. And this one here, I've gone in three times and check this out. So now we have it framed up just like how I wanted it to be and I can see more of the wood cutting. Something to keep in mind, especially when you're using a long lens, when you're punching in like this, you are gonna see more of that camera shake. It, it's gonna be more sensitive. Check out this example. This is of this plant. I was just capturing some footage in my backyard and I got to editing and was like, ah, oh, I wish I got a little tighter. That'd be really cool to like, just you know have it framed here. And so basically we watched that shot and here's my zoomed in crop scaled shot. As you can see, I was really able to reframe this shot without losing any quality. Um, the other thing to note, and you can see that this plant's a little soft in focus. So when you're doing those punch-ins, you do gotta keep in mind that focus is more critical than ever. So I wish I, I had it a little bit more crisp, a little more you know spot on with the focus. It's a little soft, but it'll still get me through the day of, of what I need to do. But some things to keep in mind, you know, the longer lens, a little more camera shake, you know, your focus is very critical, especially when you're crop zooming in. So really definitely keep an eye on your focus. Here's another action. I was out at the lake and was capturing this duck and I didn't want to get too close to him because then he would get scared off. But I wanted a nice tight shot of his head. And basically, you can still see when I zoomed in that the detail is still there. And you can see the water on his beak, you know, the detail in his head. And I'm going to be delivering in 4K as you're going to see at the end of this video um, with my final product of all the footage that I shot and mixing in my punch-in shots. It's just really cool to be able to achieve this. Even though 12K is, is definitely a burden and taxing on your computer, it is totally worth it. Here's another shot of my dog. I got a punch-in shot here of his eye, and then that's the original, the wide shot. So just to be able to go that tight, and you can see the detail in his nose and in, in his eyeball. Um, it's just cool to be able to see that, and then going back to so you kind of almost it can give you actually like a two camera setup look too if you're doing an interview that's another cool thing with this is it really gives you a lot of room to work with so you could set up your wide shot and then you could punch in for your close-ups or you know other shots to give it that multiple camera look Anyway, let's jump in and let's check out the footage that I shot. Do keep in mind that COVID is happening. So some of these shots were kind of limited and kind of more in quarantine. And so it's just a lot of it's kind of my backyard and just using what I have to work with. Enjoy the show.
right, well that's a wrap for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed the footage and you learned a thing or two about 12K footage. I know I did. If you have any questions, feel free to ask away in the comments and be sure to like, subscribe, and follow. I'll see you on the next video.